Okay, we've had a lot of questions as to what all is involved in setting up the Fontana oven, so we want to show you from our warehouse how it arrives and how to set it up. When we pack it, it will arrive at your doorstep like this. Uh, it's very important not to cut it with a knife because there are some uh, pieces inside that can be damaged. Uh, so what you're going to have to do, first of all, is remove the cardboard and then be very careful as you unpack it. Now we're going to show you uh, an oven and go through the process of unpacking it. Okay, we, the, the oven that we're going to unpack is an, a Gusto 80 by 54. As you can see, the cardboard has been removed. We already have, have started to open this one up, but we're going to show you the process. The front of the oven is the area where you're going to start unpacking the oven. Behind the cardboard is the roof. So you need to carefully open up and you will see the roof. Um, once you have it opened up, you want to pull the roof out. You will see that the, the stainless steel has a protective film on it. Uh, set it aside for now when you get ready to put the roof on. Uh, you'll pull that protective coating off. Now I will tell you if it's warm outside, um, it, it's a whole lot easier to take off. If it's a cool day, you may want to take a hair dryer and heat it up just a little bit so that it pulls off more easily. Let me set this aside. The cart, or the, the cart is on the top and, and, and essentially what we have here is two pieces. There's the cart and then the oven portion is on the bottom. The oven, oven travels on the bottom because it's the heaviest portion. That makes it uh, so that it's not top heavy. So what we're going to do first is take the cart off, which is fully assembled. We're going to set it on the ground and then lift the oven onto the cart. Uh, so right now we're going to cut it open, take the cart off, and we'll, we'll show you how you need to set the oven up. Okay, now that the oven is exposed and we can see where we're cutting, you have to carefully cut the, the plastic all the way around the oven. You want to be careful not to cut into the paint and scratch the paint. Uh, once you have it cut, uh, the plastic can be pulled off. It would be easier if I were a little taller. And then be, then be very careful because on top we have two shelves and then typically the stone is packed on top as well. So don't turn the cart over without checking on top of it first. Okay, and this is a shot of the top of the oven. You can see there are two shelves on top and there's a stone underneath that's packed in bubble wrap. If you order two stones, they'll both be packed up here. So be careful as you unpack it. Don't turn the cart over before you check that. Okay, now we're ready to take the cart off and place it on the ground. Obviously it's upside down. We're gonna place it right side up. Be careful when you're doing this. Um, because there is the, the chimney is up underneath it, so you're gonna to have to lift it up over the chimney and flip it over. It's gonna take a couple people to do it because this weighs about 100 pounds or so. All right, lift it up over the chimney, and let's just flip it over. Okay, now the other thing I, I want you to realize is right now we're in the warehouse. We've taken this off because we're gonna transport it to the location where we're gonna set it up. Typically, you would do all of this on location. Uh, we're going to put it in the back of a pickup truck, and it's a whole lot easier for us to move it around like this. So we have the cart on the ground, the oven, as you can see, as we cut open the, the oven is face forward here. We're going to put it in the back of the pickup, and then we will we'll set it up. Okay, there are a couple of different ways to lift the oven. Behind the chimney stack, underneath the insulation, there's a hook. And some people, if they have a, a trailer or a forklift handy, you can hook onto that and lift it onto the car. Some people rent a motor hoist. The way we're going to do it, and the way we usually do it, is you can get a piece of rebar. This is something I had laying around. It's not really rebar. This is square but it will slide through from on the front and the back. There's channel iron going from side to side. I'm going to slide this through. And essentially that gives us four handles. We're gonna put one in the back and one in the front. 
and we'll use that to lift the oven and set it on the cart. Okay, in order to further lighten the load, the two doors are cast iron, and with, which have a lot of weight. And so we're going to remove those by removing these two pins and the hinge. They're very easy to remove. Basically, you might want to wiggle the door up and down just a little bit to get it to slide out, and then remove the door. Okay, now we have some dowels that we put under it. We're going to roll it forward. We're going to use the um, rebar as our handles, and we're going to set it on the cart. Okay, down. All right, hang on, we're going to have to roll the cart forward. Okay. There. Now we have it in place and we can remove the rebar. Now all you have to do is peel this protective film off, which sometimes can be a hassle. If it's a cold day, it's more difficult. I've had it sitting in the sun for a little bit, which makes it a little bit easier to pull it off. But you just, you just peel this off. Okay, now we're going to put the, the roof on. You have two different, um, obviously a left and a right side. One side is flat, the other has a flange on it. You're going to put the flat one on first because that flange needs to go on top so that uh, water will not get inside. And you have to start here matching up the holes. And let's see if I can locate it here. All right, there's one hole. The, the, the screws can be found inside the oven for the roof. Okay, I'm just going to set it in here for now. I'm not tightening all the way. I might need to adjust it around a little bit. Okay, that's one side. Okay, now I'm going to take this second side which has the flange and I want to make sure it goes on top of this other side but has to remain under the collar. And once I have it up over the other side, check both sides here. All right, now I'm going to try and match these up first. Okay, now we have five screws to put across the top. We just need to line the holes up and run our screw through. It, it works a whole lot easier with the screw gun. Okay, now we're gonna tighten the four screws we initially put in. Just snug them up. Okay, now we just tap the collar down to snug it up on the roof. I get a, a hammer and a piece of wood or a rubber, rubber uh, mallet. Down on both sides. Okay, now this, this is the last thing. You just have two little apex caps. Just want to stick it on the front, knock it on, you've got one on the back, and now we're ready to cook.